I think the story is untold about the back of the arts quite often. Unfortunately, when people talk about the back of the yards, they think of the jungle, they think of the book, they think of the stockyards, the grotesque nature of some of the unsanitary conditions that took place back there, and that's all they remember. The back of the yards neighborhood is one of the oldest and, and one of the most interesting, I think, in Chicago. Most of the immigrants that came to this country, or the Midwest in particular, came to this area because there was work, there were jobs. The stockyards uh, presented a lot of opportunity for people. And this occurred at a time when Chicago was becoming this major crossroads of transportation and trade, and the meatpacking industry really started to anchor the city's new industrial-based economy. But when the industry faded away and eventually died, those people were left without jobs. So this new community that's moved in, the Mexican community and the African-American community, the working-class African-American community, they don't have the stability of those good union jobs that they once had. And that's a real question for Chicago. How do you deal with working class people when there's no work?